This is Malassezia. Doesn't she look happy? And why shouldn't she? Malassezia has got plenty to eat. She's surrounded by all her family and friends and not a thing to worry about. You might be wondering who is Malassezia and where is she? Well, Malassezia is a type of yeast that lives in your scalp, your friend's scalp and in fact on all of our scalps. And for about half of us, it will lead to dandruff. So why do some people have more dandruff than others and what can be done about it? Let us tell you. Malassezia make the hair follicles in our skins their home pretty early in our life. Follicles are the tiny cavities in the skin in which our hair grow. Malassezia love these since the glands present in them produce sebum, an oily substance that lubricates our hair and skin and which Malassezia consumes. And since our scalp is full of hair follicles, it is also full of Malassezia. As these yeast feast on the sebum, dandruff may form. Some leftovers from this feast break open the outer layer of the skin and go inside. As a result, two things happen. First, scalp loses a lot of its moisture, making it dry. Second, the immune system detects and responds to the breach in the skin. This leads to inflammation, which causes the itching that accompanies dandruff. Now our skin cells routinely die and get replaced. And because the cells are so small, we don't notice it. But with dandruff, these dead cells form large, greasy clumps around hair follicles that are shed as visible flakes. This is how Malassezia yeast leads to dandruff. But despite the fact that all of us are a home to Malassezia, not everyone gets dandruff. Why some people are more susceptible is still unclear. Many possible causes are under investigation, such as genetic predisposition, differences in permeability of the skin, and differences in the amount of water loss. Currently, the most effective way to get rid of dandruff is by using antifungals to kill Malassezia, most commonly in shampoos. But unfortunately, for those who are susceptible to dandruff, it usually comes and goes throughout their lifetime. Scientists are exploring many other ways to treat dandruff. One particularly active area of research is looking into our immune response to Malassezia activity. Malassezia is not all bad though. Yes, dandruff is a hassle and is embarrassing but it's not a threat to your health. In fact, scientists are exploring if it can be used to our advantage. How can that be? Well, Malassezia is rather good at protecting its turf, that is, your scalp, against all we throw at it. So can it also protect the scalp from other microbes? For now, that's got scientists scratching their heads. <laughs>